Good evening, everyone. Time for another Bitcoin report. This is not a chart of the PP coin or the name coin or the light coin or the Bitcoin. No, this is a chart of the Japanese yen. Uh, the five minute chart provided by netdania.com. You can click on the link below. Now you can see here with the action in the Japanese yen today that these insane uh, madmen we call central bankers are playing games with their fiat currencies. This is the latest from the Bank of Japan and uh, it's quite ironic when we have criticisms of the cryptocurrencies being that they're unstable and uh, that they're not uh, capable of being trading vehicles or use as uh, currency because of their instability. Yet here we have the Japanese people uh, having their currency being devalued, you can see a movement from 92.8 to 96.8. So that's going to be 4 to 5 percent devaluation of their currency in one day. Uh, but uh, then we have the Bitcoin here. Uh, yes, it has violent movements as dips down, but uh, it's a deflationary currency. It just keeps gaining in value. So. The cryptocurrencies continue to gain in value as the worthless banker-controlled fiat currencies collapse in value and uh, we're told by the shills and trolls and uh, government-controlled uh, agents in the press that uh, we shouldn't invest in the uh, cryptocurrencies because they're speculative and dangerous. So obviously that's nonsense and FUD by the uh, controlled media uh, paid prostitutes for the central banks of the world and uh, so we expect to see their lies now as you know I had predicted that I was expecting a run to 100 that was back when we were around $50 I predicted a rapid run to $100 we got that we actually went through that I was expecting a a correction back to 50 we did get a correction from about the 96 level down to about the 74 level but then we took off again now I'm going to predict that we're going to run to $300 before we see a significant correction one of the reasons I say that is because we can see these spike lows rallies spike lows rallies spike low and uh, so we're doing the same sort of thing here you can see it's that clearly rising pennant formation the high we hit before we had massive DDoS attacks against uh, uh, a lot of the sites uh, that trade Bitcoin and uh, not just Mt. Gox but many other sites came under massive DDO attacks I think we all know who's behind that uh, but uh, I do predict that we're gonna see uh, another run and probably this time the run my guess is it's gonna take us to three hundred dollars on the Bitcoin now uh, the news, uh, if you go to the blog, the news is fast and furious, uh, just crazy news as the mainstream media covers the Bitcoin story. Of course, as the price rises, uh, they have to uh, cover it. Uh, they don't really have any choice because uh, they're already irrelevant, but uh, by ignoring the Bitcoin, they just become even more irrelevant so we've seen stories on Fox News Bloomberg Wall Street Journal all of the mainstream banker owned media and of course uh, they're late to the party and uh, most of their stories are filled with FUD distortions and all kinds of stuff so we want to look at the rallies that have been going on in the alt cryptocurrencies but before we do that I wanted to uh, take some user questions now on the forum we had done a contest in the Litecoin uh, and I gave away 50 Litecoins to the winner. Uh, probably not going to be able to do that next time considering that now uh, the Litecoin's up four to five dollars so uh, we're talking uh, like that's two to three hundred dollars but uh, that's how crazy those alt currencies have been but let's uh, take some questions. Uh, the first one is from Blue Helix and it's uh, do you know the Bitcoin OTC market and uh, why I think it's nice to participate in it 
Do you know the Bitcoin OTC market and why I think it's nice to participate in it? Imagine you want to buy or sell at a given time your cryptos to something else and the market and the markets, Mt. Gox, BTC, you have problems, bottlenecks, regulations. Isn't it nice to go and trade from person to person on markets based on trust? And then here's a link. A chain of trust. How can I trust someone? Assume I did several trades with others and we know each other and trust each other to a certain level. No one you want to trade with me, but you don't trust me in particular, but you can see and verify where it trades in a group. You put a uh, step inside this group, the chain of trust grows. Uh, even if you try to scam me or the chain of trust, trust growth uh, knows your OTC career and uh, it goes into that. So yes, I think that that is going to be the way going forward. Now, I, I've talked with a number of friends about uh, potential solutions to the problem. We know that the Bitcoin has been criticized because uh, it's irreversible. Of course, that's actually a benefit of it. Uh, we don't have central bankers in there and bank uh, banking criminals deciding uh, whether it's a legitimate trade or not. You're going to have to uh, go to the free market to establish that. And there's a lot of things that could be done. Uh, I've uh, thought about and tried to imagine ways where that could be done. You could imagine you could have an intermediary and with that intermediary you would deposit uh, your bitcoins and uh, there could be a uh, key sent with the item and uh, if there were a company that were delivering them such as uh, UPS or something like that uh, the signature could release the the match on that key and that, that would be sent back to the intermediary at that point they would know to release the funds so there's a lot of solutions the free market can come up with to solve this problem without having to rely on the banksters and uh, the next question and uh, this is by fish government controls Hi, bro. I've been listening to the YouTube videos and the Bitcoin conference presenters, and I think I understand the architecture pretty well. It's exciting. One thing I can't seem to think through in this, what would keep the government from just buying all the Bitcoins with their phantom fiat and killing it? Thanks for all you do. And that brings up a really important point that came up. If you saw the interview, I believe it was Mike Mar uh, Varney uh, on uh Fox Business News was interviewing, interviewing Jeff Berwick and Jeff has done a fantastic job in the interviews he's given to the mainstream press. Of course, Jeff is very professional and uh, very uh, well spoken, uh, very well kept and uh, so he makes a great spokesman for the Bitcoin and uh, but of course uh, Barney tried to corner him with uh, some of the bogus arguments one of the bogus arguments that's been coming out uh, recently that I've seen this was actually one that was in a Bloomberg article was the reason why the Bitcoin is no good is because uh, as opposed to uh, government currencies the uh, the Bitcoin he says uh, there's so many locked into wallets that there's just not enough Bitcoins out there but the wonderful thing about fiat currencies is that they can just print more. So uh, a completely asinine argument. And we know that it is uh, completely false because we know that uh, even if 99.9% .9 of all the Bitcoins out there weren't just locked in wallets, but were actually lost. Uh, let's say that 99.9% that, uh, .9 of all the Bitcoins were put into wallets, the key, the uh, encrypted password to those wallets were lost and we lost 99.9% .9 of all the bitcoins. Would it matter? No, it would not matter one bit because that 0.1% of bitcoins would be divisible down. Now it's been said that it's divisible to eight but actually it's quite possible to have it divisible to an infinite number. So uh, the bitcoin actually has that solved already. Uh, that's a bogus argument and that intersects with this bog bogus argument here. Uh, what would keep the government from just buying all the bitcoins? Well, they're not going to buy all the bitcoins because they're not going to buy my bitcoins because my bitcoins aren't for sale. So I would love to have the government buy up everyone else's bitcoins and uh, they, the government could make me a bitcoin millionaire or bitcoin billionaire and uh, 
that would be fine by me. Uh, then I would control a large percentage of the currency. Again, it would not make any difference because even if the government bought up 99.9% .9 of all the Bitcoins out there, there would still be enough Bitcoins to do all the trading that would be necessary. You'd just be trading 0 0.000001 on the Bitcoin as opposed to trading uh, 0.1 or 0.01. So it really doesn't make any difference. The designers of the Bitcoin thought of all these things beforehand. And the fact that the shills and trolls and paid liars in the government media, that these are the best arguments that they can come up with against the Bitcoin, that's very, very telling. Now, Let's get over to the alt cryptocurrencies. The main action, of course, is over on BTC-E. There's also the Vercurex exchange. I covered both of these before. You can see that the Litecoin now is in a correction phase. It had a very large run. We're going to look at those charts in a second. Also, the name coin right now is in a correction phase. Those are the, the two. Now, there is a Nova coin that's traded over here, but this one's kind of a, a smaller one that doesn't have a lot of action. So the big, the big alt cryptos on uh, BTC-E are going to be the Litecoin and uh, the name coin. Now, let's look over at one that's traded exclusively. Well, not exclusively, but it's traded over at Vercurex, and then it's on another exchange. This is the rally that's occurred in the PPC PP coin and it has been a phenomenal rally you can see there that uh, people involved in this coin we've gone from prices of uh, three zeros uh, and uh, three zeros and a two three zeros even and a one uh, not quite three zeros and a one all the way up to uh, this point zero zero three so there's a tenfold move uh, people who had moved, say, 100 Bitcoins into this PP coin and held on for this number of days and are selling now, uh, we're talking about they have made 10 times they've turned their 100 Bitcoins into 1,000 Bitcoins. So we're seeing phenomenal gains in these alt cryptocurrencies. It's just fascinating to see. I think a lot of people got the same idea that I had when the FinCEN announcement came out in that uh, if they're going to uh, sell their bitcoins and, and try to take their profit why not uh, take their profit in another cryptocurrency rather than go back into dollars which is going to subject them to regulation going to subject them to capital gains taxes uh, let's just continue to trade uh, in the cryptocurrencies and real goods where FinCEN gave everybody the green light saying that hey as long as you're trading crypto for crypto or crypto for virtual or crypto for real goods but not crypto for dollars uh, we don't really care what you do so that's the PP coin that is a magnificent rally the other alt crypto that is only listed on Vercurex uh, pretty much is the TRC coin and you can see we have a tremendous rally in that coin as well uh, we've got uh, a price of uh, three zeros and a eight something like that so uh, approaching a tenfold move on that coin uh, now uh, over to the two that are traded on BTC-E they're going to be the light coins and uh, the name coins now I did show on the blog that uh, with the Litecoin we do seem to have a breakdown uh, right here we had a very strong trend line and a breakdown so we're, we're consolidating in the Litecoin of course the Litecoin has had a fantastic move you can see the Litecoin came from all the way down uh, we were at 0 .004 and uh, rallied all the way up to uh, 0 .04 so an another alt cryptocurrency that had a tenfold move uh, we also had a massive move in the name coin a name coin is a coin that uh, is uh, for alternative DNS resolution and uh, that's very useful uh, for those of you who don't know the, the uh, authorities love to use DNS to shut things down so uh, that's a uh, an interesting play there but you can see 
that uh, the lows on the uh, name coin were 0 0.002 and we had a run almost to 0.02 so there's another one there's an eightfold move so magnificent moves magnificent profits being made in these alt cryptocurrencies and uh, I think that's just a lot of the people coming out of the Bitcoin and uh, taking some profits and uh, putting their money in the alternative cryptocurrencies. So back to the news stories now. Uh, this is a video from Jerry. He, he's pretty upset. Uh, it's called Mt. Gox is a scam. And uh, if you watch the video, he uh, tried to pull his bitcoins off of Mt. Gox and he got this identity uh, warning which is kind of interesting because uh, I've uh, worked with Mt. Gox in the past and they've said uh, you know you need to put your driver's license and something like that. Now I can understand why that would be the case if you wanted to uh, withdraw dollars from their exchange but I have no idea why that would be the case if you simply want to withdraw your bitcoins. So there's definitely a need uh, for other uh, exchanges to come about uh, there's no reason for us to rely exclusively on Mt. Gox. Uh, that definitely needs to change. Uh, the exchanges seem to be the weak link. Of course, uh, Mt. Gox and the others came under tremendous DDoS attack. Uh, and uh, that's got to change. We've got to get a consolidation, uh, or I'm sorry, a distribution of uh, exchanges so that uh, there are plenty of choices for people to go to. Uh, now, of course, Max Kaiser has been covering uh, Bitcoins uh, continuously. He's very, very bullish, and uh, he's one who has consistently been behind the Bitcoin. A lot of people have criticized him, uh, but he's uh, stood fast with that. Uh, some of the other stories, of course, Forbes, uh, they allow a lot of people to submit stories, so that's not significant. Forbes has been covering the Bitcoin uh, for quite a while. Um, there's, of course, a lot of FUD. Here's Art Cashin coming in here, and uh, here's a Harlem Shake thing. And they, so I tended to have both the good and bad stories uh, on the blog. Uh, here's one Texas family sold Porsche last night for 300 bitcoins. Uh, here's one with the BitPay founder. Uh, you can pay your rent directly in Bitcoin, uh, more Kaiser report. And so there's just a, a tremendous number of stories. I encourage you to go to the blog and read the stories. Uh, we're now up to posting 20 to 30 different stories a day. And uh, the Bitcoin is really exploding. Uh, it's, it's being covered in the mainstream media, not because they want to, but because they have to. Of course, the mainstream media is a thoroughly discredited media organ. Uh, they're controlled by corporate and state interests. Uh, they're no better than the Pravda of uh, the uh, Soviet Russia. Uh, they're basically a state news organ, and uh, there's no significance to their stories except for the fact of why they had to mention it. And we know the reason they've had to mention the Bitcoin is because the Bitcoin is an explosive story. And if they don't cover it, then they will be completely discredited and uh, all the sheep will stop listening to them. So they can't do that. So back to the Bitcoin chart. Uh, this chart is very clear to me. We can see the very large volume down spikes. And uh, the reason why you have spikes the reasons why or the reason why you use candlestick charts is so that these spikes are apparent we can see there a very large down spike met with buying immediately another very large down spike that spike was met with buying uh, that drives the price back up another one met with buying you can see it turned into a flag formation and then a tremendous breakout and here we have another down spike and another flag formation so we're forming another flag or we're, we're preparing another run and it's my belief for this uh, and we're talking about a parabolic move now of course parabolic moves do end up ending in tears but the question is going to be how high does the parabolic move go before it corrects and they often correct 50 percent very rapidly but based on the uh, flags forming and the 
bounces in volume, uh, I'm going to project a $300 price on the Bitcoin and I'm going to project that to happen within the next couple of weeks. And we'll talk to you next time.